Welcome to This Is My Architecture. Today we're joined by Rowan from Qantas. Welcome Rowan. Thank you. Um, can you tell us a little bit about Qantas and their use of technology? Yeah, so as you know, um, Qantas is a global airline. Um, over the past few years, we've been going through a real technology transformation at Qantas and changing the way that we use technology. Um, and a big part of that has been using the cloud. So today we're going to focus a little bit on the rostering platform. Are you able to describe the rostering platform at a sort of high level mm -hmm. and how it's used? Yeah, so essentially we have a rostering application that helps us coordinate our ground staff. Um, for a large airline, this is quite a big challenge. You have a lot of humans moving around, you have people going to different airports, and you need to make sure that everybody's in the right place at the right time in order to make sure that your planes take off. A business critical function. Absolutely. So I understand that you had some unique challenges with the storage layer that you had to architect a highly available SIS share. So you able to talk through how you architected that? Absolutely. So yeah, we, we had a look at a few different options that were available on the AWS marketplace, um, some of the you know Microsoft uh, solutions that were available, and we ended up landing on something that was actually quite new. Um, but from an AWS perspective, um, we have a, an active passive um, design. So within this, um, we've got two auto scaling groups. In those auto scaling groups, we have a min of one and a max of one. So it's a self-healing architecture. Absolutely. Um, so the idea being that um, in the event of a failure, um, the instance can detach its attached EBS volume and reattach that volume on the recovered instance. And the software that's running on the instance, mm -hmm. can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so basically it's a feature of Microsoft um, Windows Server 2016 um, and it's their new storage uh, platform called Storage Replica. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So you've got a, uh, a instance over there that's uh, auto healing. Mm -hmm. What happens in the situation where you are looking at a, a complete uh, our availability zone failover. So um, in that event, um, we're using auto scaling lifecycle hooks. Um, and what happens is a message will be dropped onto the SQS queue that we've set up for this application. Um, and using long polling, the passive node will pull down that message uh, pretty much straight away as soon as that's been published into the SQS queue. So, so why did you choose SQS over, say, CloudWatch events? So um, SQS struck a nice balance in terms of being um, highly available. Um, it was also very quick in that when we publish a message, it's immediately picked up. Um, so really, that was one of our key objectives is to ensure that failover is as fast as possible. Um, we also looked at Lambda um, and a few other options. And this struck us as uh, one of the more simple, easy to administer solutions. Excellent. So mm -hmm. long polling means the message gets there straight away, but mm -hmm. how long does it typically take for uh, the cluster fail over to the passive side? So we're able to uh, do a failover in under 60 seconds. Excellent. And that meets the RPO and RTO requirements of the business? Absolutely. So um, because we're using active passive technology with synchronous replication, we're able to have a near zero RPO and the RTO, as, as we were talking about, is also quite low. And we've got some ELBs up there as well. Can you tell us what function they uh, so serve? Essentially, they're, they're, their purpose is just for um, health checking. Um, so because you can configure the uh, health check parameters on an ELB to be quite low, this allows us to tune them quite aggressively to ensure that in the event that an instance fails, it will, be, it will recover quite quickly. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Thanks for coming in today, Rowan, to, to talk to us about your storage solution for the rostering platform. And thanks for joining us on This Is My Architecture.